Hi everyone, this is Mark Waite. Welcome to the Jenkins Documentation Special Interest Group meeting. Today, we'll talk about, previous, we'll review previous action items. I'll do a demonstration of plugin redirects from the wiki and how you extract change, log, change logs with the wiki exporter as a way to highlight the progress we're making on migrating plugins from wiki to, to oh, hosting their own documentation. Talk briefly about Google season of docs and then review the latest data on contributors and contributions. So let's get started first with that demo. So thanks to marvelous work by Gavin Mogan, um, he's now implemented wiki redirects for most of the plugins in the system. So the wiki documentation still includes some general docs, like for instance, this page, how to report an issue. And we'll eventually get this page migrated as well, but the wiki is still readable for those who need the information that's on it. However, if I go looking for a plugin like the Git client plugin or the Git plugin, so let's look for Git client plugin in the wiki, it's going to show me a search result. And here it is, and it shows a page that was updated September 10. If I click that link, it will automatically redirect me to the actual plugins.jenkins.io wiki site or plugins.jenkins.io page. What you see here is plugins.jenkins.io, not the wiki. And much faster, renders quicker, easier, easy to maintain, and in this, in the case of this plugin, completely maintained inside the GitHub repository for the for the plugin. Makes it easier to maintain for all of us, simpler, cleaner, and precisely versioned. Uh, will be more redirects will be added through pull requests to the Jenkins Infra project uh, to redirect other plugins. Uh, it's been really marvelous what Gavin has done with the redirects to make things simple, clean, and fast. Plugin documentation now appears sooner, is easier to read, and easier to maintain. So how are we doing on our progress? Well, up to this point, over 260 plugins, you see here, two, over 260 plugins have migrated, completed the migration, and released a new version using documentation from the wiki are using documentation from GitHub, not from the wiki. Thanks very much. We've had contr contributions from students, from plugin authors, certainly contributions from many others who are helping us as we transition away from the wiki for plugin documentation to plugin documentation inside the GitHub repositories. Uh, the, the charts here, or the, the page here that shows us the progress is a great way to find a plugin where you can help. And you click one of these and it'll take you to a plugin that has not yet been trans tr transferred. So let's take the Javadoc plugin, for instance. This one, if I go to its GitHub repository, we should see that, hey, no pull request and its documentation is not yet maintained in GitHub. It's instead listing it on the wiki. This is one that could be trans could be reconfigured and reworked to use documentation in GitHub instead of documentation on the wiki. So in addition, when we make that transition, we need to be able to trans transfer the change log, the release history from the wiki to GitHub because many plugins have tracked their, their change history in the wiki page. Uh, the wiki exporter tool here, when I click export, this tool will offer translations of the wiki page into Markdown or ASCII doc. So if we take that Java doc page and I just click convert here. So this is, if I go to my, that Confluence page for, let's go to the Java doc plugin here. And if I grab that page, I should be able to put this into this converter, do convert, and it will read the page from the wiki, 
and present me that, in this case, in Markdown. Here it is. And notice, here's the change log. So I could copy the content of this change log into a pull request to the Javadoc plugin. It's that easy, that straightforward. It just works really well. And then we get more and more of these things translated. Now, in addition to that, we've also got a project on GitHub that is tracking our work as we make these, this transition. So you can see these swim lanes that show us here 18 pull requests that had been submitted to projects that are now released that with a version with that pull request inside of it. Merged in the merge column in the center shows pull requests that have been submitted and even have a highlight here approved. You'll notice that it says one review approved. So if you want to find a way to help here, you could choose one of these that has not yet been approved, review the pull request, and note your approval of it. That way the author, the maintainer of the plugin, has one more person who said, yep, I've reviewed this documentation, it looks correct and is ready to go. So here's a great chance to use the wiki exporter. Keep Keep a, add a plug a change log to the plugin repository and then update the README to refer to the change log. In addition to those efforts, we're, we'll be initiating soon our application to Google Season of Docs. Google Season of Docs is modeled somewhat after Google Summer of Code, but is focused at a different audience where Google Summer of Code looks to, to encourage students to engage. In, in helping the Jenkins, you know, helping open source projects. Google Season of Docs is focused on writers and people who do not have, pro, who have professional writing experience, but do not have experience contributing to open source projects. And what we'll do is we'll offer up some projects that these writers might be able to help us with. I'll create the initial ideas for Google Season of Docs and submit them I'll be using a similar template or similar format as the Google Summer of Code project uses in Jenkins so that we have an easy pattern to follow as we evolve and, and grow this. We'll likely start small initially, maybe one project or two projects, and watch and learn to see how we can do better. Now, in addition to Google Season of Docs, we've got as a concluding item the data on contributors and contributions. So this first graph shows us the, the time from pull request creation to first engagement by a reviewer in giving comments or feedback on the pull request. And what you'll see is over the last three or more months, we've solidly kept the time to give feedback under four hours for over 50% of the, of the pull requests. And in general, time for feedback right now for the 85th percentile is still well under one day. Looking good, the pull request process is healthy on Jenkins.io. We keep handling things as they come in, get them deployed. Now, time from PR open to PR merge is also holding nicely and looking good. Our median there is that we're well under 10 hours. Uh, probably on the order of two hours for our time to from PR submission to merge. And the, at the 85th percentile, we're still well below at one day as our typical and under four days for the last multiple months of staying cleanly below that, that four day limit. In addition, we've had good pull requests in the, merged in the last month. We've had 84 pull requests merged from 30 different authors and very grateful for those contributions from all sorts of contributors to the community. We have eight open pull requests currently and have over the lifetime of the Jenkins.io site closed 2,800 pull requests. Thanks to everyone. Thanks very, very much. And this concludes our meeting today.